Hello everyone, welcome to Gate and Tech. And today we have uh, Gun Reddy, Sasida Reddy with us, who secured All India Rank 88 in com Gate Computer Science 2024, and currently doing masters from ISC Bangalore. And uh, he is uh, yeah CSE students, right? Nice. Okay, so welcome Sasida Reddy. Welcome to Gate and Tech. Thanks, sir. Yeah. So can you introduce a bit? Uh, yeah, like my name is Shesh Reddy. Like, so I am from Andhra Pradesh, and I secured all India rank 88. So currently, I am doing my masters in computer science automation at IIC Bangalore. Mm -hmm. And so, actually, I was 23 pass out. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in in your college, like, uh, how you started for Git? <laughs> Uh, like uh, actually, like when I was in third year, like till I come to third year, I even don't know about gate. Like so, at that point of time, I used to watch so much of YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. So then I get to know like something about there is an exam like gate. So at that time, I I thought I was not very serious to give gate exam in my BTEC college, and I, I actually got placed in my three two seven. So my mm -hmm. entire fourth year in BTEC was doing internship in Delhi Gurgaon. Mm -hmm. So during that time, like uh, I just gave my uh, 2023 attempt, like in my final year, and I felt that the paper was very easy. Like I mm -hmm. thought, if I can prepare well, I think I can get very good rank. Like yeah. so, then I started my preparation soon after the exam. Like like just <laughs> I just wrote the gate exam and I came back and the next day itself I started preparing for gate exam. Okay, and then I. I like I prepared parallelly, like along with my job. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Then, like at, at that time, like while I was preparing for gate exam, I got to know more about like IIC, like, like how the life will be at IIC, like <laughs> the way you yeah. get uh, more uh, study about research and all. Like, mm -hmm. so I got very interested. And it's kind of motivating for me. Like, I need to go to IIC now. So I need mm -hmm. to work more hard and get some good rank. Yeah, yeah correct. That's how it started. So in your, uh, I mean, final year, you have started the gate preparation little bit casually, right? Uh, I thought, okay, uh, but I didn't dedicate it fully. Yeah, but I thought to give, yeah, I, I just attempted get at the time, like I got around 4,500 rank something. Mm -hmm. My final year. Yeah, it's not very uh, bad. I mean, it's also good <laughs> kind of. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, in final year, like, uh, have you uh, I mean, uh, did you watch any lectures or like only free videos or something? You have purchased the courses or something? No, I didn't watch any lectures. Like I used to watch some random YouTube videos and used to like I was not very serious. Like I should give gate exam or something. Mm -hmm. I just started my preparation in my final year. But at like in my final year, I was doing job internship, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So and at that time, like in the middle June, like I thought my job like. My seniors in my job told like, gate is like it's not for you. Like, since you are doing some good job, you have some good package. If you work hard here itself, like you can get better package in next two years rather than mm -hmm. doing MPEG and all. So I thought, okay, yeah, what <laughs> they are saying is also correct. So I thought, okay, leave gate and <laughs> and I skipped gate preparation. But mm -hmm. anyway, I have applied for the gate exam, right? So I thought, okay, just go and give the gate exam. So I just after giving the gate exam, then I realized like. It was very easy, like mm -hmm. why I have left my preparation. I should have continued, then I realized it. So then I started again my preparation. Okay. So I mean along with that, along with your job, you, did you purchase any courses or like only self-study? Yeah, like I purchased a course, an online course. Yeah, mm -hmm. I prepared along with that. Because like I thought to prepare, uh, there are so many resources, right? But I thought like if you have some online subscription or something, you have some proper guidance, like proper way to cover the subjects and all that. So like I don't need to worry about gathering the information and all like resources and all. Because well, like it consumes lots of time. Mm -hmm. So I thought taking some good online subscription is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, like, how you manage your time along with your job? Because it's very difficult. Like many students facing the, uh, this type of situation. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like what happened with me? Like, 
I used to prepare very intensively at the beginning of my preparation. I said like after this, just next day from the gate exam, I started my preparation, right? So like my office will start at like uh, at nine thirty itself, but there is something like uh, if you come one hour late, you should leave one hour late, right? Mm. So like it's completely nine hours. So whenever you come, you should stay work for nine hours. So like I thought, okay, like so I used to wake up early in the morning, like around. Five or six in the morning, and I used to study continuously till ten, ten thirty. Mm-hmm. So when I used to in the little half in that from ten to ten thirty in that half hour, I used to get ready and go to my office. Like, <laughs> and again uh, after coming from the office, I used to come around seven or eight in the evening, mm-hmm. and I used to have my dinner, and again I will study till night twelve or something. So three hours in the evening and four hours in the morning. Mm-hmm. Like on an average, I used to study six hours daily. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean it's hard to manage both. Like, but I mean it's hectic kind ah, of thing, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, but initially, like as I was studying, preparing for it, like the subjects are also very interesting. Like, mm. uh, like when you get involved with preparation, you'll be very enjoying also. Like, you don't know, even don't feel like bored or yeah, bored enough, yeah, like right. something. Yeah, mm. even I used to like study more and more. Or say, like it's a kind of like exciting thing. Like, what <laughs> the next thing we need to learn. Mm-hmm. kind of motivate for me like to study more things yes yeah, so like uh, have you prepared your own notes or like you have uh, used another I mean, other student notes or another noted notes something no like i have written my own notes like you know like if you write your own notes it will be really as well like there is no mm-hmm. point of like using others notes like right? <laughs> so whenever really? you watch some video you write like psychologically also like it it impact mm-hmm. you like It right. saves in your memory, right? Yeah, it's better to write note down your notes. Just make your own mm-hmm. notes. Yeah, I used to make my own notes when I was preparing for exam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, like, how you solved the PYQ? How much it is important for us? <laughs> yeah, like PYQs are very important. Like during my initial days of preparation, like I never solved PYQs. Mm-hmm. Like. Uh, I was completely watching the syllabus, like covering the syllabus and watching the video lectures, making notes, and I even skipped lots of my revision also in the initial days. Mm-hmm. But like as I come to end of June, July, I realized like whatever I studied, I forgot everything. Mm-hmm. And so then I started like uh, revising the subjects, and then uh, from then onwards, I started practicing PYQs and all those things. Like PYQs are very important. Like mm-hmm. so, like. They help you to evaluate yourself, like how much whether you understand or some sometimes what happens is we understand the things in very wrong way, right? Mm. So whenever you try to solve the questions, then you get to know like how much of concepts you understand, like or like whether you are lagging somewhere or something, things are not clear or not. So you get to know all these things when you solve the PYQs itself. So. Mm. Yeah, and even like solving PYQs itself means like. You need to understand the question, right? So what mm. those people will do is like they don't read the question properly, right? Mm. They don't understand mm. the question. They just go through the question and they start solving the question. Mm. Like, but yeah. whenever you start reading the question, like I would say, like most of the answer will be in the question. Like they they just mention like what the thing you need to do, how you need to do also. Like most of the time. <laughs> so whenever you read the question properly, you can figure out the answer there and. There itself. So, like, mm-hmm. whenever you are solving the PYQs, like, you need to understand the question properly. Like, first, like, what they are asking. Like, so you need to develop these all processes. Like, so it helps in, in that building that thinking and how to approach the question solving process. So mm-hmm. whenever you solve PYQs, like, you can cover all these things. In there. Yeah, and like, uh, if if one uh, understand the concept and solve the PYQ and uh, topic wise, subject wise, this is also important, right? So like, uh, many students ask to me like, which test series should uh, they buy and uh, like, which is good and how many test series one can buy or <laughs> use for mm-hmm. it, their preparation. I have purchased two test series. I don't know why I have purchased two, but like, at the end <laughs> I solved only one test. I, I actually. I have uh, solved all uh, Go classes and Gate. I purchased Go class and Gate overflow combined test series, right? Mm-hmm. So like uh, I solved all the topic wise, subject wise, and full length test. And I have purchased test series from other coursing online coursing, but they are not that good questions. So I, like even if you solve take multiple test series, it no, it is not that worth like doing so many. But if you solve some good questions, like they are more than you know like solving some hundreds of questions which are like not very good. 
Like I feel like Go class and Git also they they have very good questions. Like they test your mm-hmm. concepts and all. Right. So like uh, taking one test series is more than enough. I would say. Like if you solve all those topic wise and full length test in that test series mm-hmm. is more than enough. Like like what I used to how I used to solve that is like uh, whenever I start some new subject, right. So what I used to do is I used to revise all the previous subjects which I have completed. Mm. Well, what the people do is they mostly people ignore the revision, right? Correct. So it is a very wrong thing. Like even I, uh, mm. the people will be in hurrying completing the syllabus, right? Mm. So, but even if you complete all the twelve subjects or thirteen subjects, and if you don't mm-hmm. remember anything, it's no point like writing the gate exam itself. Correct. Correct. <laughs> even I heard like people who have completed then eight subjects, right? They secure two hundred below hundred, like yes, even they left yeah. four subjects and they secure a very good rank. Mm. It's all about like perfection. See, if they have done only eight subjects, but they are very perfect. Like in those eight subjects, whatever they have done. Mm. So then I started like uh, so at the end of my preparation, I realized this in the June July. So what I have done is I stopped my complete preparation. Like whatever the subjects, pending subjects are left, so mm. I stopped studying new subjects and I nearly like spend around like twenty to thirty days, like one around one month, and I started revising all the subjects, like five or six subjects, which, whichever I have completed. Mm-hmm. I revised all of them, and I till then I haven't solved PYQs also. So I dedicated like four or five days for each subject, and I revised all and I solved all the PYQs also. Mm-hmm. And then from then onwards, the new subjects which I started studying, I used to do weekly revision. So like mm-hmm. Monday to Friday, if I study something, I used to revise them on Saturday and Sunday. And from then onwards, every fifteen days, I used to revise whatever all the completed subjects. I used to revise them in every fifteen days. And at the end of each month, also I used to revise all of them. And whenever mm-hmm. I was revising, I used to attempt like one topic test of each subject. Suppose I have revised discrete math, so I will give uh, mm-hmm. this time I will give graph theory. So whenever I revise next time, I used to give group theory uh, topic wise test. So when I, in each revision, I used to attempt one topic wise test. Mm-hmm. And at the end, by the end, like I have completed all the topic wise steps. By the time I complete the syllabus, and then I started giving full length test. Okay, so uh, I mean, after attempting the test, how you analyze the test? Because analysis part, uh, most of the students ignore. Like they are in mm-hmm. bit hurry to completing the subjects just for sake of completion. Like mm-hmm. they completed the topic by subjects by test, and they they feel like they are on good path. But uh, I mean, main thing they skip the uh, I mean analysis analysis of test right. Analysis of test is very mm-hmm. important. Yeah, like, yeah. Analysis is very important. Like the main purpose of writing mm-hmm. the test is just for analyzing, like where you are making the mistakes. What are the mistakes to do? Like, yes. so if you skip that part, then it's no point of writing the exam. You can just keep <laughs> writing the exam itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the main thing is like uh, I used to even note down the mistakes which are like mm-hmm. what I mean is sometimes like I, I, whenever I attempt the test after the, attempting the test, I used to sit for one hour or two hours and I used to analyze like. Like why I'm able unable to solve this question? Sometimes mm-hmm. I figure it out. I haven't I haven't read the question itself properly. Like I haven't understand mm-hmm. it itself properly. Yeah. Or sometimes I even do, do silly mistakes like uh, not reading the options correctly. Like reading the even I used to note down them in the paper so that I should not repeat them next time. Or even if I feel some concept I am lagging or something because of which I am getting very less marks or something. Mm-hmm. Even calculation mistakes I used to note down them. Mm-hmm. Like why. I, So whenever I use, try to attempt the next test, I used to go through all the mistakes which I have done. So okay, I need to read the question properly. I need to read all the options properly. Mm. I should not do calculation mistakes, right? But when coming to concepts, when I feel there are some lagging in some concept or there is some misconception, in the next time whenever I revise the same subject, I used to focus more on those topics which I am getting very less marks or I wish mm. which I am unable to solve the questions and all. So, like, you need to spend good amount of time on analysis. Like, whenever you analyze them, you will find out your mistakes, and then whenever you correct those mistakes, then you will perform well in the final gate exam. But because in the end it is exam of three hours, right? So, like, you you don't know like if you don't find out, figure it out all these mistakes, and if you go in the exam to do all these mistakes, like your entire one year get wasted because of those silly mistakes. Mm, Obviously, you know, get even one or two marks matters a lot, right? Definitely. So, Yeah, if you are losing marks in gate, means like whether you should mm-hmm. you don't know the concept or something. Apart from that, you should not make 
silly mistakes mm-hmm. or calculation mistake and all those even if there are even they, they will be very small mistakes you know like i will make calculation mistake i don't read question i don't read option <laughs> but whenever you analyze it multiple times this get feed in your sixth sense like okay mm. whenever you are something happens whenever i uh, solve some question like after 2 minutes like i myself will come some kind of like intuition that okay i am spending too much of time so i should go to the next question so like mm. something what happens people uh, try to solve one question for 15 or 20 minutes and waste lots of time right mm-hmm. that will also impact a lot because in the gate you need to solve all the, like you need to solve most of the questions right? if, yes. if you keep on sitting fixed to one question solving and <laughs> spending time your entire exam gets spoiled so Definitely. like all these kind of things like you need to analyze in your test series before itself mm. because whenever you start analyzing and uh, plan uh, your uh, exam then like you don't repeat these mistakes next time mm. yeah like analysis of a paper is very important whenever you write a test mm mm-hmm. and uh, like many students uh, have the doubt like if they get the low marks in subject wise or topic wise test so i mean they are ignoring the those tests so like what what the strategy like they can make like <laughs> uh like yeah i should get uh, less marks in some test like it doesn't matter like how many marks you are getting in all the like the main point of giving this topic wise subject wise test is like to correct your mistakes like to evaluate mm-hmm. yourself like where you are lagging back like uh, where are mm-hmm. you are doing mistakes right so it doesn't matter if you are getting less marks in test like try to figure it out like why you are getting less marks so try to sit and analyze question by question like why i haven't solved this question so whether i haven't studied this topic or like even i haven't studied like whether i have studied in the wrong way or something or whether i haven't remembered the formula so mm-hmm. in that case you can make it note on somewhere in short notes or something right so whenever you get less marks like try to focus more on the top concepts which you are getting less marks or in case you can refer some like short video like there will be some marathon session videos right where it will be covered on youtube like mm-hmm. right so you can refer those videos or like you can read some test book or something whenever you like you after you are revising multiple times i think still you are getting less marks means you are lagging somewhere behind in the concept or understanding the thing so try to focus more on those topic in your revision time So, apart from that, you no need to worry about getting less marks in the test mm-hmm. series or topic wise test. Just like try to figure it out the things like why you are getting mm-hmm. less. Yeah. And like uh, how to be consistent throughout the journey because most of the people like they they thought like they will do they will take a drop then they will do. uh get um, in next year like next year they will get air one but uh, this time they are thinking to leave now like i mean is the peak time to uh, one should not leave the preparation if they started properly and uh, mm. like i mean we have many cases like if, if a student is started now itself they can get good rank uh, right many yes. many cases i mean i mean many students we have so uh, can you suggest like many students are like feeling depression like feeling demotivation nowadays <laughs> uh, like it happened along with me also like what happened is like uh, i resigned to my job in august like hmm like my, my job got converted full time just after one week i got full time i just resigned uh-huh. like uh, my, i have two pay- two months of notice period but i don't know like yeah. what happened after that time i got little like oh kind of overthink like what if i don't get something because of that mm. i got little bit of anxiety and all those thing like so at that point of night i thought i take it too much of stress also like i was preparing but still i was kind of having overthink or too much of depression like so uh, one day i was like thinking too much and i got even shivering also like i don't know what mm. happened yeah yeah then i thought okay like first you need first you need to be mentally and healthy right Go. even like gate exam all are they are apart like mm, so correct. then at that time i took one break of one month in entire mm. october i even didn't <laughs> studied anything like okay. i left completely preparation i was just roaming <laughs> all around <laughs> whenever i get time so i left preparation but after that time i, like, I was like at that time at that time i figure it out like just a kind of overthinking like you just need mm. you know there is nothing to worry about like what whether it happens it happens if don't happen it won't happen like what happens is the whole thing is like you ima- you yourself imagine like something is going to happen something mm-hmm. wrong is going to happen 
you yourself feel like what if i don't get good rank or something right so mm-hmm. first of all like you need to be very positive and all like so after that one month the gap but then i started continuing again but see even sometimes i feel like uh, not to study or something i take break i go out with friends and work but doesn't matter like uh, you you're wasting your time right mm-hmm. so you consistency is nothing but you should have a uh, good motive to start it again even if something mm-hmm. goes wrong or even if you are uh, fall like you are you are lagging behind what you have planned right mm-hmm. so that is what consistent right so you no need to worry about see even i have wasted one month of my preparation if i was sitting and thinking about my that last one month of preparation i wouldn't have done my preparation well in the next three months of my preparation right mm-hmm. uh, so one thing is like you should be very motivated even if you didn't study today yeah okay it's done is done like you can't bring that time back and right so right. instead of worrying the about wasted time just try to be give the best like whatever the time you have right mm-hmm. yeah that's how you can be consistent like try to be very positive don't worry much about that exam or something like mm-hmm. give your best right at then you can't change the end result right whatever it will right. be the result it will be like the only thing which is in your hands is preparation right so try to prepare as much as you can mm-hmm. and yeah try to be consistent like it means like you are planning to study for 6 hours daily that try to study 6 hours in case like you are skipping like one day in a week or something it is fine like but still it is okay like no mm-hmm. need to worry about that yeah yeah and uh, when one should start the i mean uh, full length mock test after completing a syllabus or if someone have some subject left so when should one start ideally uh, like i would say like uh, end of october or no- uh, november it's a very good time in the beginning mm-hmm. of november it's a good time to start like what most of the people do is like they will start their full length mock test and t- uh, at the january or at the end of december mm-hmm. right so what happens is like you don't get enough time even if you start them in december or january then you find there is some very big mistake or flaw in your preparation you can't correct them within one month right correct so whenever you start them as early as possible then you get to know your mistakes and then you have enough amount of time to correct those mistakes right mm-hmm. because like see you have started giving full length test and you found like i'm very weak in this subject i'm getting very less marks in all full length test in this subject so you don't have enough time to focus on that subject in one month right if you start giving your test in january right mm-hmm. so it's better if you start giving full length even if your syllabus is not done like start giving in november or something mm-hmm. so like it's better to start from now beginning of november itself so that mm-hmm. you'll get some good amount of time like to rectify your mistakes and to know your drawbacks or shortcomings right in your preparation mm-hmm. and even as early you start like you get some more time like to get analyzed to that pattern and all those things mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, like how how one should like avoid social media like someone wasting too much time on instagram nowadays like reels time like it's a 30 ah, yes. seconds reels <laughs> and facebook <laughs> like someone is wasting too much time on that so like how one can avoid and how you manage like <laughs> uh, like it, I also like at the beginning of my preparation. I used to uninstall my Instagram, <laughs> but I used to install it again <laughs> because that is the only kind of like entertainment you get. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, you can watch reels for some time, <laughs> even mm-hmm. if half an hour or something. Like, if you are studying continuously for three hours or uh, two hours, yeah, mm-hmm. you can watch some YouTube video for half an hour, like or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. then again you can come to start your preparation. It doesn't mean like you should be completely isolated from the entire world, like you no know, need to use Instagram, mm-hmm. mobile, or YouTube or anything. Because if you do like that, and then you will be like you will be burned out and you will just like mm-hmm. so like it's kind of uh, it gives you some relief or something, right? So yeah, okay. you can watch reels, Instagram, but yeah, like it's not like if you're watching it sit for hour. Uh, watching it for one hour for <laughs> 10 <years or> <laughs> uh-huh. yeah like you get you yourself get an okay it's enough i watch for half an hour now it's more than <laughs> now i need mm-hmm. to study right like what i used to do is sometimes i used to watch like 
YouTube video or something like some random gate interviews or in the middle of my preparation. Like I used to sit mm-hmm. and watch some song. Even I used mm-hmm. to watch some YouTube video songs and all. Then I like even if I wasted one hour, like it gives me some kind of confidence or motive to study more mm-hmm. because I feel like okay now I have wasted one hour, so I need to cover this. I need to study more. Hmm. Correct. Correct. Yeah, it, yeah, you can watch it. It's not mandated. Like you need to be isolated. Only. Yeah, just need like you need to have some proper like mm-hmm. time management, right? Yeah, correct. So, uh, did you prepare the short notes also along? I mean, in, in, while you prepare in forget? Ah, uh, yes, I prepared short notes. Like one thing about short notes is like uh, you should make. You should not make. start short notes at the beginning of your preparation so you should make your short notes whenever you are giving full length subject test and you know doing your full length revision mm-hmm. so like the main point of short notes is like you need to note down the things which you forget very uh, frequently like see mm-hmm. it means like if you are making short notes of any particular subject it means like at least you should have done four or five times revision of that subject then only you get to know like even after doing four times of revision or five times of revision i am still unable to remember something mm. which i am missing so such things you need to make in the short notes so that way like you should make your short notes after you have done like multiple revisions and still you are forgetting something like so you need to make such kind of points or something in your short mm-hmm. notes so try to make short notes like from the october or november like so by the time you have done multiple revisions right Hmm. So then it will be very beneficial. Or else, if you start making short notes from the mm-hmm. beginning itself, like you will write some all unnecessary yeah. stuff, so like formulas or something, which are even you remember <laughs> them, then you will write in the short notes. Hmm. Then it's no point of like making such short <laughs> notes and all. Correct. Yeah, correct. So like try to do multiple revisions, and whenever you are giving full length mock test, so between two full length mock tests, you will revise some subjects, right? So at that. Time you you get to know like okay I am forgetting this thing each and every time like after even re- your attempted some mock test or full end subject test after so whenever you are analyzing that uh, tests so you figure it out okay I am unable to solve this question because I forgot this formula hmm. yeah, so like try to make all those such kind of things in your short notes so hmm. like whenever you are analyzing your test something then you are forgetting some formula some concept or some points of some properties with about something then try to make them in the short notes mm-hmm. yeah so make short notes but do make short notes after you have done multiple revisions right? don't make it from the beginning itself mm-hmm. correct and uh, i think uh, we have talked about many things related to gates uh, can you share your experience uh, in isc like <laughs> yeah yeah like like Yeah, here it is very amazing experience. Like, mm-hmm. like still today, even I can't believe that I am at AS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like even here we used to like have very even our classmates or everyone are very really very friendly. Like, it's mm-hmm. very good atmosphere. Even the campus is very big and it's very beautiful. Like, yeah, it's very peaceful campus also. Like, and even the professors are also very cool and chill. Like. Even you mm-hmm. can ask you any know, doubts or something like even they teach very extraordinary you know, like the subjects mm-hmm. and all like it will be a very nice experience at IIS I would say like mm-hmm. yeah, even the facilities here you get are like they are amazing like you don't have like there's some good ground football like hockey ground and all yeah even like food is like we have your non veg every day it <laughs> 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 was very nice. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I mean, it's a good motivation. Uh, like who preparing right now? Like it's a good motivation. Yeah. If someone get the ISC or any older IIT, like it's a dream come true, right? <laughs> ah, yes, yes, really. So I think we have talked about uh, all the things. So uh, just uh, like suggest any one few. Uh, I mean, one advice to future as as friends. Just give some advice. <laughs> Like the only other thing you to be is like try to be very positive, like be happy, like try to enjoy mm-hmm. the process. Like it is very nice thing, right? You are learning something new, and like when we are trying to solve some questions, like take it as a challenge. Okay, mm-hmm. I need to solve this question. Why I unable to solve this question? Like you need to enjoy that. It will be very nice experience, like preparing for gate exams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so like don't think like negative like try always try to be positive and like don't worry about like the end result like whatever will happen will happen <laughs> yeah try mm-hmm. to give your best like so you're preparing right so prepare best like how much efforts you can put try to put that efforts and yeah try to be consistent like, mm-hmm. try to be happy along with your journey mm-hmm. like enjoy the process like yeah yeah So thank you so much Asidar like you have uh, shared your experience nicely and best wishes for your uh, masters also and uh, if required in i mean i mean next year or maybe like we will conduct another session if it is required regarding the isc like we will uh, yes. talk more about the college or uh, study everything like <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> yeah thank you so much Asidar ready <laughs> yeah Thanks, Wayne.